Okay, hi guys, I'm Chris. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a few different um, pouches for your pistol magazines when you're, uh, well, this is applicable to real steel as well, I suppose, but mainly for airsoft. We're going to be looking at four different kinds today, or uh, one sort of won't be in the actual test, but this is the probably what most of you are familiar with a very standard just Velcro and a flap attached on your Molly gear. Good, they work with all sorts of magazines, but not very quick it's for reloading from. So what I'm going to be looking at mainly today, and I'll be doing a bit of shooting in a second, is the three I've got on my vest here. Starting off, working from my right to left, got the Blue Force gear, 10 speed pouches for pistol magazines. Now these will work with, according to the manufacturer, any sort of pistol magazine that you've got, whether they be double or single stack, so 1911s, SIG 226, Glock, whatever. It's just very simple, elastic, quick mags in. It'll, it'll conform to the shape of whatever mag you put in there. Draw very quick, in and out, simple. Extremely lightweight, not very robust, but they are cheap and fast. So a good option there. Next up, I've got a uh, sort of magazine of magazines, I call it. It's a plastic pouch. It's got a spring with a follower inside, and you load your magazines in not a dissimilar way to loading a uh, standard uh, assault rifle magazine. Pull them out and when you pull one out the spring pushes the next one into place for you to draw from. Heavy, bulky, uh, not ideal for anything but 1911 magazines. If the side of your mag isn't flat then because of the spring tension they all kind of end up at an angle and uh, it don't really work so well. But four flat sided 1911 mags work very nicely. They say bulky but quick and it can hold about seven in here. So, a possible option if you want to carry, carry a lot of pistol mags. And next up, we've got the Eagle Industries style. These aren't from Eagle, I'll put a link to the site that I did get them from in the uh, put an annotation just there. Uh, and basically, what these are, these have got plastic inserts. It's a fabric pouch, let's say, with the plastic insert, and to reload, just rip that top part off, and there's your magazine, and pull it out. Nice and secure, and faster than your standard types, but you do need to have that top pouch over. This particular one is a quad, designed for 1911. The, uh, the website I got it from does do it for other pistols, um, so obviously they'd be thicker. But you do need to have that top cover on, because I tried it at a skirmish once. And I, uh, I did drop a mag on the ground, luckily I found it again. But, as I say, if you leave that top cover off, they'll hold it, but not very tightly, so magazines can fall out. Uh, so what we're going to do for the shooting test, I've got my Tokyo Marui Night Warrior here. I'm going to be doing, I've got TM-1911 mags in all of these, obviously all loaded up, good to go. Got about five to ten rounds-ish each in all of them. I'm going to do, I'm just going to start off taking a magazine out of here, emptying it into the target over there, then we'll go grab this one, and then one from here, and hopefully and you'll be able to see the difference in sort of the speed, the ease of use, etc. Obviously, the position on the vest makes a difference, but for now, just do a shooting just so we can compare three different kinds and see how they work. All right.
Okay, so that was one from the Blue Force gear, one from the Pydex plastic pouch, and one from the Eagle FB style insert. Um, comments on them. Overall, my favourite has to go with Blue Force gear. Extremely quick to come out, very simple. You've got a large area of the magazine there to get your hand onto and grab. Um, they're cheap, they're not the main issue with them, they're not going to. Dusty, muddy, dirty environment, they're not going to protect your magazines well. You're not going to want to go prone if your magazine's on the front of your rig using these pouches. I mean, for a start, this plastic will get ripped up by mud and stones and twigs. But if you're sort of, if you're playing a CQB type skirmish game, um, anything like that, where you're not worrying so much about your gear getting damaged or hitting onto things, these, these magazines, pouches, are absolutely brilliant. They're rifle pouches, I've got a few of as well. They're great. Um, but very good for the price. Uh, plastic pouch, high capacity. Um, personally, this particular vest is what I'm going to be using with my 1911 carbine kit. So I want a lot of magazines on me. And for this, it's just straight in there. You can get six or seven magazines in there. That's its big advantage. It is quite easy to get the magazines out from. It's quite tight because the spring in here is strong, especially when you've got the more magazines you get, the harder it's going to be to pull it out because of the spring being more compressed. Uh, but overall not bad. If you position it well, you can get your hand onto it quite easily and grab that magazine out of there. And it's reliable. There's not much that can go wrong with that. So, ups and downs with this thing depends exactly on what you're going to need your gear to do. Depends on whether something is sort of out of the ordinary as one of these is going to be suitable for you. Um, the Eagle style. A good a good sort of general purpose thing. Unlike the Blue Force gear, these ones are going to protect your magazines from the environment a little bit more, uh, in a, well, as much as the standard types would do. Not as fast to reload from as either of these two, but not bad. You just off mag, and obviously the uh, the drawbacks. Any time you've got a lid over the magazine, is it's going to be it is going to be slower, but it depends what your priorities are. Are you going to be down on the ground crawling around and you're going to need that coverage or are you all about the speed? Are you going to always be standing up and it's all about going as fast as possible? That's just down to the game you're playing, your personal priorities. But overall, I'm quite happy with all of these, certainly compared to standard up to the, uh, the old normal style. So I would take any of them. I mean, these are all good, they'll do the job, but I like all of these, they're all good upgrades for your gear, depending on what situation and, uh, you're going to be facing, what you're going to be going into, and what you're going to choose. But hopefully that's been informative for you guys. Cheers.